a brutal loss for the Yankees, and uh, there's a lot of things to cover. Uh, people are going to jump on Dylan Batanz's closing. Remember, he closed uh, in place of Chapman last year. He was 10 out of 12 in those opportunities, so he can do this. But do you like the Yankees matching up in the ninth inning with Chapman Hurt? Well, it gives you more versatility in theory. You know, it's a nice thing to be able to rely on. Uh, the, the ninth inning is a different animal. There's no doubt about it, even though, I, you know, I like to talk about new school metrics and leverage and matching up. You know, I, I actually, when he brought it in, I didn't second guess it at all. I think now, with this happening tonight, you can't help but think, hey, maybe, uh, maybe they need to reverse it back. Maybe Britton needs to be the guy. I'm not sure if Aaron Boone thought Zach Britton was all the way back just yet, but uh, he looked pretty good tonight, so... Certainly gives you food for thought. And there is something to be said. Zach Britton has been a closer most of his life. He started out as a starter, but then transitioned into a closer and was one of the best in a long, long time. And Dylan Patances has always been great in the eighth inning. So when you close him, you're taking him out of his comfort zone for sure. Yeah, possibly. I mean, again, David, you, you, you talked about it. I and mean, he's never given up, never given up two home runs in a game. Well, he did tonight. And, you know, he has had a, an unbelievable month or two. Well, he didn't tonight. So there are some positives. Uh, you know, Stanton got rid of his 300th home run. Torres is swinging the bat well. And all of a sudden, now you're getting some production out of Voight from first base. So there are some positives. Are you going to catch the Red Sox losing games like this? Absolutely not. Now let's talk about Stanton. 300th home run. Uh, he's done it uh, in fairly quick fashion. Not many people have done it any faster. Uh, and uh, it seemed like a relief for him. Uh, I, I felt the same way. You could see, uh, you know, his emotion, his smile. It came back. And it starts going on you when you go through, you know, 10, 12 games without hitting a home run when you're a home run hitter. And uh, uh, offensively, they look much better. Today. They kept fighting back. You know, you got a, an unusual start from half. But again, you know, every game is going to be criticized that you lose because you're playing teams you should beat right now and you're getting ready for a big uh, West Coast trip. Uh, let's talk about a real positive, and that's Luke Voigt with a big home run. Looked like it was going to be the game winner, David. And, you know, uh, going to be an interesting decision for Aaron Boone. The Zimmerman is the right hander going tomorrow. Does he play Voigt again or does he play Bird? Well, Aaron Boone has said on record a couple of things. One is the first base is a fluid situation, so it's not a straight platoon. Fl fluid is even more so than, than a straight platoon. I think we've seen Voight and his prof profile that I mentioned on air. He hits the ball so hard, and he gets it in the air. I mean, you kind of want to see more of this kid. He's a great story because all those years of the minor leagues, he really earned his way. You know, he's a first baseman. That's probably what's hurt him. He's not a speed guy, not a first. He's only a first baseman. He's limited defensively. But, wow, he can swing the bat. And anytime you start putting up that kind of profile, even in a small sample size, you're, you're hitting the ball that hard with that kind of launch angle, yeah, you deserve more playing time without a doubt. Well, the Yankees lose a tough one for sure. Three more games against the Tigers. Severino against Zimmerman tomorrow as they will try to bounce back.